Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Deo, or the Banana Boat Song, or the song from Beetlejuice. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't know why it has two names, but it does. Alright, uh, let's see. I'll show you a couple different ways. I'm going to show you in the key that he's doing it in, but then I'll show you how you can use a capo to make it easier if you're, uh, if you're a beginner, or if you just want to make it easy on yourself, or if you're teaching someone who's, uh, you know, younger or something like that. So, the key that he's in is F. Okay, so it's only two chords, so you could do it in any key you want, really, it would be simple. So I'm going to do it in F, uh, fourth string, third fret, third string, second fret, second string, first fret. I'm going to mute the first string. You can bar, you can play it if you want. I'm going to mute it. Uh, my thumb's going to wrap around to the sixth string, first fret. You also don't have to do that. You could do the big bar F like this, where you bar the whole uh, first fret, third string, second fret, fifth and fourth string at the third fret like that, if you want. I just don't like the sound, so I thin it up, okay? C7 is your next chord, fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret, third string, with your pinky, the third fret, okay? So, I mute the sixth string on that one. All right, those are your only chords that you need. Uh, we'll do it in the key, we'll, we'll use D shapes, or C shapes, if you want, uh, later on in the video. Okay, but I'm going to do it this way first. All right, so our strum pattern for uh, it's got a couple different strum patterns you got to learn. That's it. So when it first comes, when it first starts, uh, Harry Belafonte is just singing. Okay, so we don't actually come in at the beginning of the song. You could if you like, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let him sing for a while and then work all night uh, and they drink the rum. That's the last line that he sings a cappella. Then you come in with, uh, this is the third time that he says, you know, daylight, come and be wonderful. Okay? So what I'm going to do for that is on the F, I'm going to go down, down, up, up, down, up. And then the C7 is down, down. And then the F is down, down, up. And that's your pattern. That's going to run through a lot of the song, okay? So down, down, up, up, down, up, down. So, it, at the beginning, it's a little weird coming into the song because you can't grab a hole or anything, but um, once we get to the tally men part, it's pretty easy, the whole song. All right, after, after the daylight coming, I want to go home. Now he's stacking the bananas till the morning comes. All you do there is just an F chord for three patterns, just like this. And then the C7 to the F, and then that's it. So the whole intro, all together, is... That's it when you first come into the song until you get to the tally man part. The tally man part is a little bit different. Um, it's, it's an F chord for a pattern, to a C7 for a pattern, an F for a pattern, and then the C7, that, that little uh, part that we already know, the C7 down, down, and then a down, down, up on the F, okay? And that part repeats. So that's it. You do that twice for the tallyman part. That's it. All right, now you're on the six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. That part, you literally do the same pattern ten times in a row, almost to the end of the song. So it's an F for three patterns, just like before. And then the C7 to the F. And you literally do that same little thing for ten times in a row. Then you're back to the tallyman part, which you already know is the F to the C7, back to the F, and then the C7 down, 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 up on the F. And you do that twice, and now you're at Deo at the end of the song, you're out. The rest of the band's out, and Harry's just singing till the end of the song, a cappella. If you want to play along with him for that, just do F three measures or three patterns, and then the C7, F combo, the short thing. And that's, you could do that for the beginning of the song, too, uh, if you wanted to fit in. And that's it for the whole song. Um, it's pretty simple. Okay? Uh, play more guitar. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, see ya. Whoops. I forgot. I was going to show you Deo with the capo. <laughs> and I ended the video. Sorry about that. Alright. So if you want to play the Banana Boat song or Deo, um, 
and you don't want to use F chords because they're cumbersome. Uh, you could put the capo, most people do this, they put the capo on the third fret and they use D shapes. So now it's still in the same key, it's still F. Okay, so now it sounds, it sounds too high to me, but eh, whatever, it works for the song. You'll work, uh, you'll sound right in, in line with the song. Just doesn't sound quite as good to me. But a D chord is the uh, third string, second fret, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string. And then I'm going to go to an A7 chord, which is the fourth string, second fret, second string, second fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string too. Okay? Okay? And that's all the chords you need, D and A7. You could do it any key you want. If you want C shapes, you could do that too. That would be C to G7. Um, you could do an E to a B7, uh, any of those will work, okay? Uh, so, the D chord, for most of the song, I won't go over all the parts, uh, maybe I need to, I don't know. <laughs> so he comes in uh, on the daylight come and I want to go home, the third time he says that, to D, A7 to a D. And all I'm doing is the same strum that I did in the key of F, so down, down, up, up down, up, down. Okay, so D, A7, and that's it. And then the next line, you got D, three patterns. A7, D, okay, and that's it. And then the Taliban part would be D, And then you're on to that big long pattern, the, the uh, with ten times in a row, the six foot, seven foot bunch. You do the D three times, and then the A7 to the D. Okay, and that's ten times in a row. And then you're at the end of the song, you got Tally Man comes back with D. And then Harry sing an a cappella, and you're, you're in the song. So you could do it that way. Um, like I said, many different ways to do it. But uh, thanks for watching again, and please subscribe. Play more guitar. Thanks.